Hello. In this video, I would like to introduce the most important data types in Adaptive Vision Studio. I'll use the official rubber ring example for this purpose. Each filter port has its own data type and you can always check it in the tooltip. In this case, it's an image. Additional information about the data types are displayed in the preview. We can see that it's a 3-channel image with the 800 by 600 resolution and each pixel has a value that is 8-bit unsigned integer. A compressed binary form of an image is called a region. An open or a closed sequence of points is called a path. Next, we have a profile which is an array of real values. We can also have a segment. In this case, it's an array of segments. You can also work with more common types, such as real or integer numbers, text strings or boolean values. This of course is in the full set of available data types. There are many more, for example, geometric types, arcs, circles and rectangles. For more information, please refer to the link in the video description. Additionally, there is also an entire Geometry 3D data type catalog, but that will be shown in another video. As you probably notice, each data type has a suitable representation in the preview window. Some of the types, for example segments, can be previewed both in textual and image view. Dragging ports of this type with the left mouse button uses the default data type view. In the case of the segment, textual. By dragging and dropping a filter port with the right mouse button you can decide which view you prefer. I'll choose the image view here. Let's see how it works with some example. Another important thing to mention is that in addition to the filters with a fixed data type, there are also so-called generic filters. They are filters that can be used with different kinds of data types. For example, if we want to sort the array, we simply need to use sort array filter, which will work for all data types. The letter T in the description indicates the generic filter type. We need to specify the type of data that such filter will process. You can do it when you first add that filter, or you can do it anytime later. If you are unsure which data type you need to select, simply connect a data to the input of such filter and it will be selected automatically. Please notice that changing it later might cause some problem due to the possible incompatibility between the ports of such filters. To change it, simply click on the data type in the brackets and then you will be able to select a new one. 